Ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Dundas Castle. That was the first course in your menu here this evening. We have the haggis. Now, it's very traditional here in Scotland that before you eat the haggis, you have it addressed. Now, the address to the haggis was written by Robbie Burns, who is our nation's bard. Some of you from down south might have heard of him. <laughs> and he wrote this poem. He was born about 250 years ago. He's celebrating his 250th anniversary, 25th of January next year. And he wrote this poem, The Address to the Haggis. Basically, for those of you who don't know old Scots, he's basically saying this is the most wonderful pudding in the entire world. Better than the offerings from France, the offerings from Italy, and all around the world. If you're to eat this, you'll become a strong man and a good fighter. If you don't, then you become like the rest of them. <laughs> so, we hope you enjoy the poem and we hope you enjoy your strength from eating the haggis as your first course this evening. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the address to your haggis. <laughs> Fair folly, your honest sonsy face, great chieftain of the pudding race. You're putting them all, you attack your place, page tribe or therm. We are you unto a grace as langs me in. The groaning trencher, there you fell your herdies. Like a distant hell, you're pin it out to men of melon time on need, while throw your pores the dews distill. Like amber beets. His knife see rustic labour dicht, and cut ye up with ready slicht. Trenching your gushing entrails, break like horny ditch. And then, oh, what a glorious sight! Warm food, rich man, mankind your care, and dish them out the bill of fare. Old Scotland wants no skanking wear the chops and luggies. But if you wish a grateful prayer, gear a hat. <laughs> Someone has pressed your haggis for you to join with them in having a wee drink. So if everyone can raise their glasses, and we'll say a toast together to the haggis! To the haggis. Ah. <laughs>